Hey, this is Cardell, and welcome to another BIOS update video. This is uh, kind of an addition to the other video I did. I'll put a, a card up there for you. Uh, if you have a flashback BIOS button, uh, you probably don't have to do this, but this might be useful if you or a family or a friend, um, someone that you know got in kind of a pickle here. Especially, you know, it's the 27th, so you probably went and bought a new processor or motherboard or something because it was a wicked deal uh, and this might apply to you. So <clears throat> this is the 5700G that I used in the other video. Now the MSI B550A Pro that I did the other video on had the button. So I just had to use the USB stick and do the BIOS update. I didn't need a processor. If the only motherboard or the motherboard you got does not have a button on it, you have to have a compatible CPU to perform the upgrade. And that's because you have to be able to post the system and get into the BIOS. So you need a graphical display and it won't post without a CPU. So um, you need pretend this is a compatible CPU. This is an 1800X, so on an, uh, like a uh, 450 or X470 board or something like that, you would have to put this in, update the BIOS, and then your 5000 series would probably work, no problem. Um, if you don't have one, this is a, it's your first system, right? Or you're switching from Intel to Ryzen, you don't have a compatible CPU, AMD to the rescue. So here is, if you search for these, I will actually put links to these in the video description. So this is uh, two articles here. One is PA100, okay? This is for the third gen Ryzen. So if you got a 3000 series, you can read this, the models and everything will all match. If you got a 5000 series processor, this is PA105 and the models and stuff will all match here. That's the only difference between these articles is the motherboard models and stuff. The actual loaner kit link here, this warranty information, the RMA form is exactly the same. So you don't have to worry about it being different. Um, make sure you read all of this information and you follow it to the letter, uh, especially this problem here. So, you know, put boot kit required in the description field when you're filling out information. So let's go look at the form here. So this is the RMA form, fill out your address and your name and all that kind of stuff. Your product type, say it's a CPU. I agree. <clears throat> type in your number. So you know, 5700G part number, serial number. And then here you type boot kit required. All right, submit that. They will mail you the kit appropriate for whatever uh, series you have. So <clears throat> the other thing I want to mention is thermal paste. So unfortunately, some people are going to find out after the fact they've assembled their system. It doesn't post. They have already applied their stock cooler or their AIO that they got. And it has that little circle of pre-applied thermal paste don't you reuse that because sometimes when you take it off the CPU, it, a little patch might get stuck on the CPU and you clean that off. Well, now you've got a hole on your cooler. If you put that on, your CPU might either, it might just thermal throttle and you'll get really bad performance or it might go to the point where it hits like 105 degrees and it shuts down your system because it's overheating. So make sure that you wipe off the cooler and the CPU and that you have thermal paste. So this is just a little tube of Noctua. It was like 15 bucks or something. It's uh, three and a half grams. So it's good. For, I think I've used this three times now. I've done three processors with it. I still got a little bit left in here. Um, make sure that you get some, especially while you're waiting, if you don't have any. The loaner kit does have a little packet, but I'm pretty sure it's only good for one application. So it's there to use with the loaner kit to put their cooler on so you can do the upgrade and then they're reliant upon you to have the appropriate thermal paste to reapply your cooler uh, solution to your new processor after you've done the upgrade. So make sure that you have everything ready so that when you get the kit, you're good to go. You no, don't have any downtime and you can get up and running as fast as possible. Um, if this helps or you have questions, leave a comment below. I'll try to get to them. I try to uh, answer them as, as, you know, as soon as I can. Uh, or pop into the uh, PC Build Help subreddit and uh, someone there, if not me, someone else, there's lots of people in there who are willing to help and very knowledgeable people. Um, yeah, go ahead, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more things here, especially when 
uh, new kind of events like this happen with new releases and stuff and little notes and troubleshoots that uh, I would normally make a post. Some people like to see a video about it, especially if it's a vi they're, they're more visual learner. They need to see how something goes together, whatever. Uh, like I did with the other BIOS update video where I show you how everything plugs in. Um, that's what this is for. So go ahead and uh, good luck out there. Happy holidays and happy new year if I don't talk to you.